I have friends up north who ask me all the time, pythons and iguanas, where do you live? Well, right now they'll be talking about this one, an iguana issue taken care of in Lake Worth Beach. The power company says one of the iguanas there caused an outage today. That's interesting. WPTV's Canberra Uppinger explains what happened. Tonight, the lights are back on for customers here in Lake Worth Beach after a major power outage in the city. More than 1,400 customers were left in the dark Wednesday morning. Ramel, what's going on with this car? Abigail right Kowal with Happy Car Sales is one of them. I thought, there's got to be a car accident. Oh my gosh, what happened? Everything just shut down. My computers weren't working. Thankfully, there wasn't a cause for panic, unless you're this guy. An iguana? That's all it was? Really? Officials say the creepy crawler came in contact with a transformer here at the 6th Avenue substation. And although it may sound unusual, surprisingly, this isn't the first time it's happened. Oh, 100%. Lake Worth? Yeah, they're known for power outages. This year, there's been three separate incidents involving iguanas, according to a city spokesman. However, they say they're starting to see it happen less frequently due to recent upgrades. Uh, it's down 60% from last year, um, and that's due with us putting in uh, a lot of safety measures to try and stop it. The problem with iguanas is because they're so big, um, they basically straddle the lines. Fortunately, the power was only out for about 30 minutes. Otherwise, it would have forced some in the area to close up shop for the day. We need power to work, and we were down for a while, so they don't make money if they're not working. Camera Leppinger, WPTV News Channel 5. Now, a lineman had to remove the remains, the body of the iguana, had to do it by hand, and that's why it took about a half hour to get in there and restore power. Lake Worth Beach, not powered by FPL, but we checked with FPL because we asked, what about the most common causes of power outages typically? Lightning strikes, tops of the list. That's followed by damaged electrical equipment, vegetation like tree branches or palm fronds making contact with power lines, and animals interfering with electrical equipment rounds out the top four most common reasons for an outage.